defend, uh, they, they defend traditional business models against the disruptive force of the internet. Now what unites uh, folks uh, here is of course a recognition that the world has truly changed. And that's no more than a reflection of the fact that the knowledge economy is built itself is built on inputs such as knowledge, such as data, that don't share the same sort of basic underlying econ economics of the industrial economy. You know, George Bernard Shaw uh, once said, uh, if you have an apple and I have an apple and we exchange those apples, then you and I will still have, you know, we'll each have one apple. But if you and I, if you have an idea, I have an idea, you know, we exchange those ideas, then each of us are going to have two ideas. And I think, you know, that's, that really, uh, really is what goes on uh, in, in the, the internet uh, world. So what does this mean in practice? Traditional business theory em emphasizes the value of the closed system. You know, make something popular, then milk it. You know, milk, milk it throughout its product life cycle. You know, lock in your customers, because if you lock in your customers, you lock out competitors. But innovation in a closed system tends toward being, you know, as a result of all that, it tends to be incremental. Uh, uh, because the whole point is to sort of preserve the status quo uh, because you don't want to cannibalize, you know, what's going on. Open systems are exactly the opposite. They're competitive, far more dynamic. Your competitive advantage doesn't derive from locking in your customers in. Uh, on the other hand, you, you, you know, companies are gaining advantage by understanding the fast-moving system better than anybody else and then using the knowledge to develop uh, better products on faster cycles. The successful company in an open system is a fast innovator and also a thought leader. So what do, what is, what do, what do open systems and openness, you know, what does it concretely mean? Um, I'd say three things, open source, open standards, and open networks. Open source uh, is no longer this uh, idyllic uh, kind of you know, niche fantasy thing. It's increasingly driving and being driven by uh, big companies. Google is built on open source solutions. You know, we use tens of millions of lines of, of open source code uh, to run our products, uh, and we, we try to give back, and I think we do okay with that. You know, we're the, uh, by some measures, the largest open source contributor in the world. We contributed, we, we have, we, we're contributing over 800 projects that total over 20 million lines of code uh, to, to the open source community. A few examples you're probably familiar with, you know, you know, Chrome, uh, which is our uh, increasingly popular internet browser, completely open source. Um, uh, another example, last month we introduced uh, what uh, information we called a, a $120 million gift uh, to the open internet uh, that came in the form of an open source patent.